when it's comfortable. Speaking to mic. Yo, 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 yo. Speak again. Yo, 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 yo. DJ M, DJ M. Alright, go for it. DJ M? Yeah. Check one, check, check. Check, check, check one. Right, so we're in the studio with Suzy Breaks. <laughs> What's going on, man? You cool? What's good, what's good, Ev? You cool, yeah? Yeah, we're just coming out. Jazz Funk and Soul, if you've missed it. Wow. CD Breaks. That performance is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank like, you, the you mater know. material always on point every time. Yeah, you know, we get in, we get in, you know. God willing. So by the grace of God, isn't it? You don't know. Yeah, 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 man. What, and what, so, last time we had an interview, it was over the phone. Yeah. You're pressed for time, but we've managed to get you in the studio. Yeah. So what have you been up to since the last time we spoke? Oh, it's been a lot. It's been a lot, isn't it? Because since then, we did the whole Yes We Can tour sort of thing. Yeah. And since then, after that, we've just been performing non-stop practically, you know? Yeah. Just non-stop. I'm working on a few projects right at the moment. I've yeah. been in a lot of meetings yeah. with a lot of guys to work on a few projects that yeah. you lot are really going to see very soon. Yeah. But I can't say too much, but just know Riddle Riddle's coming back anyway. That's back in effect anyway. Oh, that's good. And then that's I'm just good. working on a few projects. I've had a lot of meetings in the past few weeks, you know? Yeah. So people would be wondering, oh, why hasn't he got any footage or whatever? But I've just been having a lot of meetings, you know, to sort out certain stuff. Yeah, we look, we look forward to it. Now, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had a, another poet on the show. And we're talking about basically we had a whole show dedicated to poetry. It didn't holler at me. <laughs> it didn't holler at me. <laughs> nah, we, like she was in. It was having to get you. You know, you're so busy having to get you to come all the way from London up to Nottingham. Fair enough. Yeah, fair and enough. it's a Thursday. It's a weekday as well. So, but yeah, um, I'm gonna ask you this question. It's just a brief one about poetry. Okay. Now, what would you say to people who think, oh, when they hear poetry and think, oh, it's it's boring it's not interesting or it's just a bunch of people sitting down we old people sitting down reading books and they're, and they're smelly well not smelly but you get the idea the yeah. picture i'm trying to paint yeah i, so. I told them to listen to silly breaks <laughs> now i'm joking <laughs> but what i think people need to understand is yeah with a generation that's changed like it's basically sort of like i don't know we're sort of like the influx of grime as our society with it it's kind of merging to youth culture and okay. it's sort of and stuff like that are starting to affect poetry too do you understand what i'm saying yeah. the youth culture starting to reflect into the poetry and then it's really started to evolve into something different from what you're used to because yeah. me i just come like i got the university of study breaks if i show you my student I, like, I brought him on shows i brought him on shows like two shows now he's burnt it down if i show you my student he's 15 and the kind of poetry he, that he's doing is like the new age kind of poetry that people like me are doing you know yeah. like, lots of people you see what i'm saying yeah so it's this kind of like it's evolved so you can't really just put it back in that box that's that's old that's old times you know what i'm saying but like yeah, everything yeah. poetry evolves same thing with music yeah. and it's kind of come to accommodate the newer generation especially yeah. the younger ones that are doing it okay so thank you so much jazz monk so what, what can you say about it like, it's amazing you lot should see the venue the venue is packed out the pen, Nottingham always gets it in, you know, I love coming to Nottingham, the venue is packed out. You cannot come to Nottingham and find a seat in a venue, that's how it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the event is a lot and it really has that jazz feel to it, people playing the violin, Yolanda guitar. Browns, you know what I'm come. saying, you're like, I have to miss Yolanda, you see what I'm saying? Sax, people, they're getting it in down in Nottingham, that's all I have to say, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to the ACS for putting it together. So, shout out to jazz the ACS. Jazz from the soul, the second soul. edition, oh, next year again, and then, oh, it's just going to keep going on and on and on. Daniel. But yeah, thank you very much for coming through and hopefully you're not a stranger to the show and No, I'll be back next time I'm here, you know I'll be back in it, so I say. Do you wanna do a little quick two minute, two minute, two, two minute? Two minute, two minute. <laughs> Let me think of something quick in my head, didn't it? Um, freestyle, freestyle. I can't freestyle them. You look at me freestyle all the time, but this is what I did for Black History Month, innit? Let me go quickly. Right. Imagine being blackboard, black male, there's a black male taken from under a black sky on a black night on the black ship. Went from being an African warrior to just another black guy. I run it cause back then a black guy wasn't invited to a black tie I had to work on the field and cook black pudding pie and if I didn't back down I was beating black and blue until I blacked out how can a white man have such a black heart but like a blacksmith I forged my own path rather than sit at the back of the bus I'd rather be blacklist in the blackness marching with a black fist till I gained my rights to sit on the corner and smoke till I had black lips Either that or I'll be blacked out on a black background with a black mask and a black strap waiting to run up in someone's house like black black. Kinda funny like Jack Black, how I changed my cards black jack till I could afford to order a black cab. We built our own black industry, black sports, black art. Used to call me a black sheep, but now I have a black car, a blackberry and a black jeep. 
And I heard it's even cool to be black now. That's how we turn the white into a black house. And if you don't get that, then you ain't black spiritually. Because that's what I call a black history. If you wind that back, you see how many times I said the word black? Because we're talking black, black, black history. You know what I'm saying? That's just quick. Other than that, check me out on Facebook. Add me, Sully Breaks. Check me out on YouTube. Sully Breaks, you know what I'm saying? Just see the videos in University of Sully Breaks is coming forward. Lots of stuff coming. The meetings is not in vain. Trust me, it's going to be a lot. God right, willing. All right, cheers. Thank you very much for coming to the show, man. Yeah. All right, I'll start again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Sully Breaks, what's good right now? I'm chilling with DJ M at URN. 1350.net, you know how they do, poetry is cool this year, peace.